Ang araw sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer. In the various ministries and states in life with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga laity na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council, ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries. At sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. 
buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao at sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang leksyo divina sa kapangyarihan ng banal na spirito, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng leksyon divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng leksyon divina. Sa leksyon divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyon. Ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso. Bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento ang mga taong nakasangkot. Mga salitang ginamit ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ebanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari, nasaan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin sa mga narinig nating sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya, ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos, ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi, ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay? At itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Leksyo Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine. You are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Leksyo Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. Kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos, ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti. ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloo. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyon Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
Today we celebrate the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We offer this Mass in a very special way for the healing and peace in our country and the whole world. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength.
God our Creator, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Savior, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. God our destiny, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us 
and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You say the Lord's ways is not fair? Hear now, house of Israel, Is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness remember me. Because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet, even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Obedience is the theme of the reading today. Pagsunod, pagtalima, ang batang hindi sumusunod sa magulang ang tawag, matigas ang ulo. Kaya pala nung bata ako hanggang ngayon, matigas pa rin ang ulo ko. Mahirap sumunod sa mga taong alam mo hindi ka mahal. Sa magulang ko, madali akong sumunod kasi mahal na mahal nila ako. Sa obispo, madali rin po akong sumunod kasi ang ugat ng kanyang mga utos mula sa kanyang pagmamahal. Kapag ang tao mahal ka at nararamdaman niya ang pag-ibig mo, madaling susunod sa iyo. Obedience is born out of a beautiful relationship. The laws and the commandments are there because of relationship. Even in the Old Testament, the Israelites, they have the Ten Commandments. I will be your God and you shall be my people. Damang-dama ng Israel ang pag-ibig ni Yahweh, kaya sila'y tumatalima sa utos kung saan ang ugnayan nananatili. Kapag hindi, tumalima, ito ay bunga ng pagkalimot sa napakagandang ugnayan. Sa Ibanghelyo ngayon, dalawang anak inutusan magtrabaho sa ubasan. Siguro pareho talaga silang hindi marunong sumunod sapagkat sila'y nakakalimot. Nakalimutan yatang ang ubasang iyon ay bigay sa kanila ng kanyang ama. Pagsunod. Di pagsunod. Bunga ng paglimot. Di pagsunod. Bunga ng hindi pakikinig. Ang taong hindi sumusunod sa utos ng Diyos, naliligaw ng landas. We have often become deaf, unable to know when God calls us, and unable to understand in which direction He calls us. Thus, our lives have become absurd. People who never listen, who never follow the voice of God, their lives 
becomes absurd. The word absurd, galing po iyan sa salitang Latin, surdos, ibig sabihin, bingi. Surdos means death. A spiritual life requires discipline because we need to learn to listen to God. And when we learn to listen, our lives become obedient lives. And the word obedience comes from the Latin word odire. Ibig sabihin, listening. Kung di natin marinig ang kanyang tinig, kaya kung sino-sino ang ating sinusundan, hindi ako paparoon sa bukid, may nag-uuto sa aking sarili, ako'y paparoon, hindi, wag na lang, nagugulo ang kaisipan. Let us learn from a God who became man, whose obedience is from the beginning till the end, no other than the Lord. Jesus' life was a life of obedience. He was always listening to the Father, always attentive to His voice, always alert to His direction. Jesus was all ear, and that is true prayer, being all ear to God. And the core of all prayer is indeed listening obediently, is standing in the presence of God. The two sons, most probably, they did not know what to answer because they did not hear the command. They did not even understand. That's why they don't know what kind of direction are they going to follow. But the first, in the process of discernment, the son was able to listen to the word and that changed his mind. In the gospel, anong sinabi? The man came to the son and said, Go out and work in the vineyard today. He said, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind. Where is the transformation of the no to yes coming from? What made the first son changed his mind. When he began to remember the one asking him to go out and work in the vineyard. Ang mga hindi sumusunod, bunga ito ng Paglimot. But the other son, he said, yes. But the yes is no. Meaning to say, the other son refused to listen to the God who called him. That's why he did not even know the direction God is preparing for him. Sa mga pagkakataong tayo'y nakakalimot, let us learn from Jesus, whose life is total obedient to God, total obedience. Jesus came not to follow His own will, but to obey God's will. Whoever follows Jesus takes the path of obedience. 
which means lowering, self-emptying, and humbling oneself like Jesus. Kaya tayo nagugulo sapagkat ang dami nating mga tinig na naririnig. Hindi natin alam kung sinong ating sinusundan. Si Jesus ay nagpakababa, niyakap ang ating pagkatao at patuloy niyang binubulong ang tamang daan. Sundan mo ako sa pagsunod ko sa Diyos na ating Ama. Sa gitna ng krisis na nagaganap sa atin, iisa lamang ang susi ng lahat, tumalima sa ninanais ng mapagmahal na Ama. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church, holy yet embracing sinners, always pursue the path of penance and renewal. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May government and military leaders seek first the way of dialogue instead of armed confrontation so that our people may live and work in an atmosphere of love and peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the families of the victims of extrajudicial killings, kidnappings, terrorism, and sexual abuses obtain strength to rebuild their lives, and find people who can help them trust in human goodness again. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all catechists be true witnesses to the gospel and ministers to the youth by reflecting in their words and actions God's love and mercy. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all our departed brothers and sisters be welcomed into the kingdom of eternal life. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the special intentions of Samuel Martires, Stephen and Lani David, Maridur Enrique Rosario, Gil and Annie Haveliana, Red and Portia Cruz, Irie Icaranum. 
Freddy and Noemi Aguilar. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, us without end, we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Oh. 
Lord. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in His sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on Immaculate us. heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy Because he's given Jesus.